Finish. Well done. Nah, they're doing all right, you know. Afternoon, lads. Afternoon. Good to see you all again. Fit and raring to go. Not so much about the fitness, you said. Yeah. <laughs> well, the object of the first uh, session that we're going to do today is uh, defending techniques. We're not going to change you overnight, but we just might throw some ideas in that just might help and get those small marginal gains that matter. OK, I'm going to throw a ball in. Just control it, pass it to someone else, take his place. Control it. Pass it, take his place. Control it, pass it, take his place. First and foremost, you're going to get communication in. What way can you communicate with your teammate? Shout, give him a call, you know their names. Give him a shout in the middle. Yeah. You're going to try and intercept the ball. One touch, can't play to the same player. Play. One, two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven. You got that, you got that, eight. Oh! I want two in the middle. What you're going to try to do is play between them. Hello. The football team turned up. That's better. Absolute bullet pass. You really get the really good slash. What's the Okay, I hope you come. Tony's going to allocate you into teams, I think. It's like this one. Under nines. We've got 1v1 defending. The most important thing we're looking at is to protect your goal. Okay, here we go. Where do you want it to go? Don't let him go across you. Yeah. Okay, well done. That's embarrassing. Go on, go on. Punish him. Good touch. Great first touch. Class, son. Good. Don't let him out. Don't let him out. Good. Let him know you're there. Go on. Nail him. Good lad. Good defending. Oh, it's killed you. Killed you. He's killed you for skill. A great deal worth doing, class, son. Now, defending isn't always about 1v1, because it's also about if I'm pressing, What's going on behind me? People covering. And we've got a couple of defenders coming to help you out in the name of Winston Reed and James Collins. Think about your defensive strategy. You're going to slow him down. You're going to encourage him to run you. Can you make him play to the opposition? You have to think about what you're trying to achieve. What strategy are you going to use? And as James says, it's not as easy as it looks, is it? <laughs> play. Oh, I smash him. Oh, love it. I tell you what this is like, watching us two years ago. <laughs> can't score a goal. Got very excited. <laughs> ah, no, it's <laughs> Good lad, finish. Uh oh, trouble, trouble, trouble. Ah, finish. Nah, they're doing all right, you know. See you, son. Wow, Richie. Yeah, it's harder than it looks, I think. Generally speaking, you two centre-backs, you dictate the line. As them two in front of you press, you're like on a rope. So what happens when they press? You press. Defensive principles, you've got to play a little bit more discipline. You've got to talk to the people in front of you. Do you remember the piggy in the middle where we're trying to stop the opposition playing between you? That's the principle. That's me breaking a line. If you're there and I do that, I've broke your midfield line. And that means now that the opposition midfield can run off you. Here we go, nick some yards, nick some yards. Squeeze up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze. Hello. Oh. Now what caused that? What was, the, what was the, the prime cause of you conceding the goal? It was a loose pass. So the opposition go a pinch dip and they've broke the line immediately. And now they're behind you. And it happens so often in the even big games. Good pass, son. Take the ball with you. It's too far behind it. Get up, right one. Get up, right one. As soon as that ball goes that way, start to squeeze. Even if it's only a couple of strides, keep that tightness in your team. What's the one of the most overused words we hear shouting out on the touchline? Even here on Premier League games. Shape, shape. Get your shape. You make the decisions on what you're going to do. Am I going tight? Am I sliding across? What am I doing? Don't let them go in between you. 
If they have to make runs, make them make runs out there, but you can still recover from it. Don't let players run in between you. Oh, see ya. Ta-ta. Why are you too deep now? It'll already be there. That's really the defending practice. If we're not as fit as we could and should be, what's the next best thing to be? Tactically organised. And if we're organised, you'll make life so much easier for yourselves. And as we go on, another couple of more sessions, we'll, uh, we'll get there. OK, lads. Thank you. Well done. You can understand that.